Yo guys, it's Linksy, and in today's video, we're going to be designing a Twitter banner, Twitter header, whatever you want to call it, uh, for a Zen member, Zen form. Uh, I've just chosen them at random, it's not really too specific. Uh, but uh, let's just jump straight into it, and I'll throw it up on screen on what it looks like, but I have no clue yet. Uh, let's just uh, jump straight into it, though. Hope you guys enjoy. Right, so if you don't know, uh, if you go up to File, New, and then you go what we want to do is i already have it saved but uh if you don't know where is it twitter header you want to make it this is just what i do you didn't you don't have to make it this big uh you can do 1500 by 500 i believe it's the same uh ratio uh but what i do is i just do 3000 by 1000 to make it that bit uh bigger uh make it rgb color white it's up to you really and uh, we're going to change that anyway uh and then you can title it here i'm just going to do Zen form bat Twitter header, right? Uh, and then you just click create. I'm just gonna unlock that layer and now we need to make a background. So for the background, I'm just gonna go right click this, turn this into a gradient. Uh, I recommend you maybe watch some tutorials because I'm gonna be going through this quite fast. Uh, I need to think of a color scheme. So for a color scheme, uh, I'm gonna go on his Twitter right now. Uh, he's got a kind of, it's kind of neutral, his, uh, his page, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make my own, you know what, let's, let's go blue. Um, but first actually, I'm gonna get the photo I'm using, I'm just gonna copy that. Uh, cancel, cancel, I'm just gonna paste that in there, and then we're gonna hide this layer for now. And let's get back to the gradient. So for this color on the left, I'm just gonna choose a dark blue and then this one here i'm gonna choose all right well let me do that if i go to blue again and choose a bit of a lighter color we don't want the background to be too bright so let me just drag and click right that's good i want the dark side why well, i want the there we go Right, you can just control Z. I'm on the dark side over here. Uh, and now we're actually gonna go on this image and press W, right? That goes to your magic wand tool. And there's this cool uh, feature kind of thing. Uh, it's called select subject. If you click that, you, I guess you could pen till it out, but I'm not great with the pen till it takes a while. So I just use this select subject and then down here, bottom right, uh, click mask. And that gets rid of most of it. Uh, there's a little bit here left. I'm just going to go with the brush. Uh, I need to make this smaller. Alt, right click, and then move left and right. We'll change the size of your brush, and then up and down, we'll ch change the hardness. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's on black. And I'm just going to erase this little bit here with the brush. There are other w ways of doing this, but I just think this is fast and easy. So that's that's it, and now we're gonna Alt, no Control T, sorry. Uh, wait, I missed a bit here. This isn't the highest res photo. It's off of Twitter. Um, I do recommend getting quite a high res photo for this, uh, but if you can't, then I guess you're gonna have to put up with what you have. So I'm, I'm gonna make this quite big. It's gonna lose a quite a bit of its quality. But for these banners, you want it to be just like the top half and like their head. Uh, so you don't want it too, too like zoomed out. So say if I had it like, what is it doing? So if I had it like that, that's just not, it's, it doesn't look great. If you look at any esports, professional esports player uh, banner, it is this kind of thing. And it's so, they get, more of the face rather than like the whole body of the outfit but anyway uh let's just go behind this layer create a new text layer uh i'm just gonna i've been working on something this let's just put that to what zero i think it is yeah zero all right i've been working on something else. don't worry about that and i'm just gonna put form right his name is form right let me get that right all right and then i'm just gonna make this really big uh, maybe not that big and use this as it's, it's a Cecil uh, feature I learned this from 
and it's to make text uh, what he says is instead of just making text is unreadable he says make it more of a texture uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here I could even no I'm gonna make it a bit bigger just so it's like kind of something to look at rather than just white space is what we call it when there's just like nothing there so what I'm gonna do on the right is I'm just gonna put form again uh, this font by the way is called Akira expanded you can search it up on like the font or any really website we can download fonts from um, it's a good font I really like it nice and big actually I'm gonna use some whoa I don't want to do that I'm gonna use some rulers here just to get the exact center there and there uh, and we'll position this I bet there looks good right and just to make the kind of I done it on my YouTube banner uh, we just go on the pen tool and what we want to do is we want to go above the background layer and just make some triangles that is curved we don't want curved we want straight lines and we go fill path color select the color I'm going to choose this color and make it quite bright fill that in where is it delete path alt drag and we can turn this into, what am I doing? Oh my God, right. Easy mistake to make. Uh, you, uh, you need to make a new layer before you actually fill it. Um, I do that so much. Um, one of my mistakes I make a lot, but you can just resize this, reposition it. Maybe not that one. Like this. We want it kind of centered towards the the text. Take that in like that maybe. Want another one over here. And then we'll have another one over here. Make this one quite bang. And what I like to do is click one click the bottom make a group create a duplicate control J and control E this basically just saves uh, as a vector file and then we're rasterizing it so we can put some I'm gonna make that smart object then we can put some uh, Gaussian blur on it just to make it like not as noticeable I guess more I kind of what's the word kind of more of a kind of effect rather than an object or something else to look at more of a kind of background kind of you know I don't even know I'm gonna put some Gaussian blur on it then I'm gonna see motion blur have a look yeah we'll put some motion blur just what direction though I think like that would look good Just really playing around with stuff here. If you find something that you like, go f feel free to use it. But for now, I'm just gonna, I'd say around what, 65. Does that look good? Yeah, sure. And let's also add some outer glow. So just double click on the right of it. I'm gonna go down to outer glow. Uh, I'll just reset this to the default. And I'm gonna choose this color, a bit lighter than that. Um, we want to take this size. You can copy mine if you want, or you can go and uh, you know do your own kind of things. This is just what I'm going to do for now. I can make it even darker. That looks alright. You can change the blend mode if you really want. I'm going to put mine on screen. Just trying a bunch of things. That is pretty much graphics design. I'm annoyed that this picture is not the highest quality. But, you know, you can't really do much. I'm going to take this text. I'm going to take it over a little 
bit more. It's just trial and error, really. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm looking on my second monitor for the one I'd done earlier. I say earlier, I don't know why they go, but uh, we can put this up here. I'm just gonna size this down a lot. Uh, make sure it's kind of in the middle. And I'm gonna put, what social should I put here? Uh, is Behance. I'll put his Behance here, which is his portfolio if nobody knows what Behance is. So just copy that, paste. And now what I'm going to do, is that still center? Yes, it is. Select it all. Come here. If you don't have this, you can go, what is it? Window. No, view. It's definitely a window somewhere. Carter. Yeah, it's called Carter. Carter. So you tick that. It's here simply. And then you can just put that right there. Right. That works for me. It might be different for you. Um, I'm. I don't know why I've done that. So I'm just going to go and resize that a bit more. Yeah, you're not ignoring the last step I've done. I'm just going to do this. It's until it's still readable, but you want it to be like spaced out a bit. And then if you shift, alt, drag. And let's put, what is he? Uh, editor for Zen. a bit smaller get rid of that for now just for a little accent color we can do this make zen purple it's more that kind of purple um you could even like just take a letter out, make it a single color if you like. I don't know, how does that look? Nah, I'm gonna leave it as that. And now arguably the most important step in making uh, banners, uh, Control, Shift, Alt, E. That makes like pretty much a raster of pretty everything you've got underneath that layer. You're gonna right click, make it a smart object, filter, uh, camera raw filter uh, and this can be quite overwhelming but basically I just I just kind of put everything slightly over contrast you want that up a bit highlights shadows whites I'll take the shadows up a little bit texture we want a little bit of texture clarity a little bit dehaze just doing this kind of shows you what they do I, do I still don't even understand what some of them do until I kind of mess around with them a little bit. Highlights, you always want to put, this kind of just makes the lights lighter and darks darker, creating more contrast. Um, sharpen, do I need, I don't really need sharpen, just a little bit. And then blues will bump them up a bit, take the reds, nah, leave the reds zero. That's not zero. I'm just looking over here, put a little bit of that on, the vintage thing, Vin vig I don't even know bro, I just make up as I go, in my head, apparently, so I'm going to do that, and then if you just hide and unhide this layer, it shows you the difference it makes, it's not as big in this uh, example, but I'll throw some other examples up with color correction on and off. Uh, if I can be bothered, probably not, but um, it can make a big difference. It can really make or break uh, a design, especially my one of Benny. Uh, I should put that up on screen before and after color correction. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.